Hello everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I'm going to be going over the shortcut uh, settings, the keyboard shortcut settings. Just talk quickly about key keyboard shortcuts. There are a whole bunch of what they call shortcuts or hotkeys that will allow you to do certain things that you uh, would normally do with a mouse. If you could, like uh, grab a clip like uh, down here, grab this clip and you want to drag it over to the end of the uh, timeline here and then drop it there. You have to use a mouse. You have to get your hands off the keyboard. You have to grab that clip. You have to drag it all the way down and set it right there. Whereas if you are familiar with shortcuts, let me just, just do undo. And by the way, the shortcut or hotkey for that is control Z. So I undo and I have several steps, uh, several um, uh, steps of undo, uh, which we will be going through in a later episode as well. But now to do those same, those same moves there, uh, I can use keyboard shortcuts or hotkeys to do that. And uh, where my playhead is right now, I can hit, this is just an example, then we're going to get into the keyboard uh, shortcut layout here. Uh, if I want to select that clip, that I want to move. I see I'm not even going to touch my mouse. I'm going to move my mouse clear up here and look I'm just going to leave it there. You're not going to see me touch that mouse while I do this. And uh, here we go. Oh, 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 there it goes. Hey, hey, no, no, put it back. There we go. Okay, all right. Now I promise I won't touch the mouse. Okay, so I'm in my timeline here and I'm going to hit the letter D for uh, selecting. Uh, now I'm going to hit Control X for cutting, and then I can hit End to go to the end of my timeline, and now I can hit Control V to paste. I just did the same things there, and I can do that a lot quicker than I can with the mouse here. Uh, so let's undo that, go to the beginning, Control Z, Control Z, go back to the beginning, and uh, once again to demonstrate that. Now, now I'm just going to do it really super fast. Let's show a comparison really quick. If I reach down, grab it, i got to drag it all the way to the end and drop it there. Oop. And there, that takes about four seconds. Let's see how quickly I can do it with just keyboard shortcuts. D, Control X, and Control V, and I'm done. Like about one and a half, two seconds there. Uh, and that was because I was talking a little bit, or I would have done it like in one second. But that, but once you memorize these keyboard shortcuts, you're going to be able to get away from the mouse, and you're going to be able to operate a lot quicker as an editor. So let's show uh, the keyboard settings here, the keyboard shortcut settings. So keyboard shortcuts, uh, the preferences for those are going to be found under, if you're on a PC, it's under Edit, and keyboard shortcuts. If you're on a Mac, you're going to click on Premiere Pro 2020 up there. You're going to click on that and you'll find keyboard shortcuts under there. Usually the preferences on any Macintosh software is going to be found under the name of the software, which is usually top left hand corner up here. You'll click on that. It does a drop down and you select uh, keyboard shortcuts. But on the PC, it's edit and the preferences and keyboard shortcuts are found right here. So we're going to select that. And by the way, the keyboard shortcut for bringing up the keyboard shortcuts is Control Alt. K will bring up the keyboard shortcuts. And on a Mac, that is Command Option K will bring it up. But on the PC, it's Control Alt K. And uh, just keep in mind, whenever I say Alt on a PC, uh, that is an Option key on a Mac for the most part. That, that's pretty much a, a synonymous uh, Alt with Option. And usually when I say Control, Control is, the, is uh, pretty synonymous with Command on a Mac. Even though the Macintosh will have a Control C will have a control key. Then there are some specific functions that use the control key on the Mac. But uh, for the most part, when I say control plus a shortcut, it is command on a Mac. And when I do alt, it is option. And when I say alt on a PC, it is option on a Mac. OK, so here we go. We've got this uh, keyboard layout here. Going to make that a little bit bigger so we can see it better. So first of all, let's go through this little search engine right here. The search engine, you can type in a certain type of uh, function that you're trying to perform and you want to know what the shortcut is for. Uh, you can type it in up here. Like if you want to mark an endpoint, you can type in mark in and it brings up in, uh, right there. There's mark in uh, and it is the letter I. I will set an endpoint and then if you want to do mark out, you'll find out that O is the letter O is the shortcut for, my, uh, for marking out. So you can search certain ones right here and you can see what those shortcuts are. If you find something that does not have a shortcut, I know there's like a function called merge that, to, that by default will not have a that will not have a shortcut. And you'll come down here and you'll look at merge clips and, and that is the function that I want there, but there is no shortcut assigned for that. So if you want to assign a shortcut, uh, that makes it pretty easy. You can click over here, you can go over under shortcut and you click once and it brings up this little box and now it's asking you what you want to be, your shortcut to be. I know that Control Alt G is not a, uh, a an assigned keyboard function, so I can say Control Alt, holding down Control and Alt and hitting the letter G, and I just assigned uh, merge clips as Control Alt G. Now that shortcut on my keyboard will do that rather than having to right click on a clip and telling it to merge the clips together. That shortcut is now assigned to that. If you use a shortcut that is already assigned to something else, let's clear this out. I'm going to hit X to clear that out. And I'm going to click in here again to assign one. And then if I use the letter I, like for mark endpoint, it's going to warn me. It says the shortcut right here, I, is already used by another application. That command will no longer have a shortcut. 
So now I don't have a shortcut for mark in. That's a very commonly used uh, shortcut inside Premiere, so I don't want to use that. So what I can do here to get that back is I can click that X right there to clear the shortcut. And now notice it is no longer assigned. Uh, up here you got this keyboard layout that shows kind of a quick, a quick overview of shortcuts, which we'll go over in a minute here. But my eye is no longer assigned. So if I want to get that back to normal, what I can do is go up to my keyboard layout preset here and turn it back to what I had it before, Adobe Premiere Pro Default. Uh, you'll notice once I've changed it, let, let's do that again. Once, once I change this and I add a shortcut here, and I click in there, let's do Control Alt G. Notice this turned to custom up here. These are keyboard layouts at the top here. Whenever, whenever I do a new keyboard shortcut or change one, uh, it brings up a custom keyboard layout. And if you want to name that, you can actually save that layout as whatever you want. Keep in mind it's going to save it onto your uh, yeah, this onto your settings. These keyboard layouts will be saved onto your settings, your login. So whenever you log into whenever you log into the Creative Cloud somewhere else, you should have access to these. It should be syncing these with your with your account. So I can call this my keyboard layouts or my keyboard shortcuts or something. Now that is added as a preset. Let's go over to the presets and kind of show those off up here. When you pull these down, you have some certain defaults here. You have the Adobe Premiere Pro default. You go back to uh, earlier shortcuts from CS6. They did some, some significant updates from CS6 to when they went to the Creative Cloud. So now that, that's what this is referring to. They're, they're the newest uh, shortcuts. But if you come from a background of, uh, of using Avid or Final Cut Pro, you can also have it use Avid or Final Cut Pro shortcuts. If I hit Final Cut Pro 7 here, they do not have a Final Cut Pro 10, unfortunately, but they do have a Final Cut Pro 7. Um, and a lot of the Final Cut 10 shortcuts are based off of the Final Cut Pro 7 anyway. So now my keyboard will match, closely match uh, Final Cut Pro 7 as much as possible and do some very similar functions inside of Premiere Pro. But I would recommend keeping the Adobe or using the Adobe Premiere Pro default and getting used to the, the new shortcuts if you're already used to something else. Now another thing that you've got is this nice kind of uh, a keyboard layout here, which is something they added like a couple versions ago, and it's, and it's uh, quite welcome uh, to the software. But what we've got here, it will show you if you move, if you move your mouse over these things, it'll show you what the full uh, shortcut does. Is it when when you just hit these keys right here. So when you hit the letter N, it's going to open up your roll editing tool. When you hit I, it'll mark your in point. O will mark your out point. Now, one thing you'll notice on a lot of these keys here is that you some of these are completely one co solid color, and here you have two different colors. You kind of have this purplish and green color uh, with a slash through it. What that basically means is if it's a solid color, these key keyboard shortcuts only have one shortcut option. And most of these, if you notice, are for the, the our application or what they call application commands. That's what the purple is in. And then if it has a secondary one, uh, which will be the green, uh, the green is going to be the secondary will, will be the secondary uh, function, and then it will show it'll if you hover over these. Key it'll show you what those two shortcuts are used for. First one uh, for the O under just a regular application, that's to mark out. And then the second one is used for the legacy, uh, legacy title panel, which is high, hardly used anymore uh, to select the rotation tool. Here's a better example up here, the equals key or the plus key up here on the top of your keyboard. Uh, for the application, if you're in the sequence, it's going to be uh, zoom in. And if you are in the project panel, uh, that is going to zoom in as well. Let's sh show you what the difference there. So I'm going to uh, move my mouse here and uh, move my mouse here into my timeline. And as I push the equals button, or I, I like to think of it as plus, because plus and minus here, plus zooms into your timeline, minus zooms out. And that's working within the sequence because the sequence is selected. If I move over to my project panel here, and now I hit the same shortcut, it doesn't, It look what it does. It increases your folder size. And if I hit minus, it decreases it. So uh, same shortcut has two different functions depending on what window you're operating out of. And you're also going to have different functions, different keyboard shortcuts uh, based on what are called modifier keys. And down here you, have, you see your modifier keys. We have the control key or command key on a Mac, alt key or option key on a Mac, shift, uh, control alt or control option, control shift, alt or option shift, control, control or command and option alt shift there. So we've got a whole bunch of different combinations of keys that will give us a whole bunch of new different shortcuts. And we can find out what these are by simply holding those keys down on our key on our, on the keyboard. So first of all, control. Let's hold down control and see what happens. And now it just now it shows my control key is in blue, showing that I'm holding it down right now. And all of a sudden I have all these new functions. The I is no longer mark in, it is now import. And the O is no longer mark out, it is now open project project. So we have some completely different shortcuts here just by holding down the modifier key changes my whole keyboard to all new to all new uh, keyboard shortcuts. So alt same thing if I let go of control hold down alt and look there's not many there it just brings up a couple extras there. But now watch when I hit control alt here are some new keyboards just by holding down a combination of control alt. 
If I hold down Control Shift, you'll see some different keyboard shortcuts. If I just hold down Shift, you'll see some different ones. And then if the biggie, if you hold down Control, Alt, then if you hold down Control, Alt, and Shift, all at the same time, we just have like clear all markers and, and a couple down here, so not, not many. And so there can be a whole bunch with your Control Alt Shift or even your Control Alt. You have a lot of options where you can add new custom keyboard shortcuts here on ones that already haven't been used for other functions. And if you go under commands, if you uh, it, you can you can narrow these down to just the full-on application, the overall application of Premiere, or you can tell it just to show the sp specific ones for let's say the project panel. So if we change this here to let's say project panel, uh, now you're going to see shortcuts that are that will only work within the project panel. So we've narrowed it down to the shortcuts that you only have in the in the uh, project panel. Now if I hold Control or Alt or Shift or control alt shift see so you'll just see the options you'll see the very that it has very few uh, shortcuts for that specific panel so you narrow it down and just see what shortcuts you have you can learn a lot by just coming in here and messing around and looking around and change that back to application to show all of them and and there you go and now, down here you got the list of basically all your shortcuts if you scroll down under application I'll show you all the shortcuts there are a ton of shortcuts to go through and then they actually have the narrowed the ones that are narrowed down into into specific panels down there so yeah, there you go that is a quick overview of the uh, keyboard shortcut panel. If you have any questions, please post them and thanks for watching.